<laughs> hey, what's going on everyone? It's me, Mr. Mario, and I know it's kind of surprising I'm making a video like this in 2017, but I'm going to be doing some uh, Xbox 360 work here. I got a new computer with Windows 10, and I've been having a lot of issues installing drivers for the devices I am using. So this is going to cover devices such as the X360 USB Pro, the NAND X, anything else that might be similar, and how to install them on Windows 10. Uh, this also does work on Windows 8, although instructions might be a tiny bit different, but it's really mostly the same thing. From what I remember, I didn't have this issue with Windows 7, but I digress, we can continue on here. So if you try and hook up any of these devices, you might get something that says other devices, and mine shows memory access because this is my NAND X. Now, if you have something like an X360 USB Pro, it'll probably show up something different on here, but it will have that yellow triangle. Now, the issue you might have is if you try and right-click, do the update driver software, and go through this step, then you're not going to be able to load in the files. Even if you do it manually, you won't be able to install the drivers because you'll still get an error for whatever reason. So this is showing you at least on Windows 10 how to get rid of this and how to actually install the drivers properly. So first off, you will need the drivers for whatever device you're using. I'll try and put some of them down below in the description, but for the Nandex, for X360 USB Pro, whatever it is, you can find them on Google pretty easily. Then you want to go to your settings on Windows 10. Now once you get here, you want to go to up update and security, go to recovery, and here you want to do advanced startup and you want to press restart now and it is going to restart your computer. Now I can't capture this as easily just because this does restart your computer and such, but what will happen next is you're going to get a few options. You're going to want to pick troubleshoot. After that, you're going to want to go into advanced options. Next up, you want to go to startup settings. And finally, and when it asks you to restart to modify settings, you're going to have to click restart and you'll get a restart screen again. Now when that screen comes up, there's going to be a option for disable driver signature enforcement by pressing number seven on your keyboard. So you're going to want to press the seven key on your keyboard and then wait for Windows to boot up. Now after your computer has restarted, you want to plug your device back in and you're going to want to go to your device manager, right click update driver software, go to browse my computer for driver software. And right here, you're going to want to find where the drivers are. Now, I already have mine loaded in because I uninstalled this for the purpose of this video. But you want to find exactly where the drivers are, and then you're going to want to hit Next. And then you're going to get this scary looking error message. You can check the details if you want to. But what you want to do is you want to click Install this driver software anyway. Wait a few seconds, and then after that, it should be complete with the install. As you can see right there, it now shows up as the Executor NAND X USB. And if you double check, it shows right here that this is the Executor NAND X USB. Now, if you want to, you can also go as far as to use the software that you would be utilizing for this hardware. So I'm going to be using JRunner, for example. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fire up JRunner. If you check right here, as you can see, NAND X is showing. So I'll even show you all if I unplug it, it disappears. Let me go ahead and try to plug it back in. And if I plug it back in, it reappears just like that. So it is working. It is recognizing properly. Anyways, this is Mr. Mario signing off. Thank you all for watching, everyone. Hope this video helped you all out. And if it did, a like would absolutely be appreciated. If you absolutely hated this video, a dislike is fine as well, too. Now it's when girls try to play the rent I got these memories inside my mind